Public cloud services have become an excellent target for businesses looking to maintain functionality in SLAs while reducing the cost and complexity of operating a duplicate data center. Veritas Resiliency Platform supports multiple public cloud services and offers a deployment option through the public cloud service marketplaces. One example of this is the Azure Marketplace, where Resiliency Platform is available as a solution template that allows an end user to quickly install all the Resiliency Platform components as part of one single process. Using the Azure Marketplace, Resiliency Platform can be up and running in minutes. So let's take a look at how this works. First thing we'll do is log on to the Azure Marketplace. And once we're in the Azure Marketplace, you can run a search for the Veritas Resiliency Platform Express Install. And once located, select that option. And there we can start the deployment process of the three images that we have as part of our solution template. Now these are the Resiliency Manager, the Infrastructure Management Server, as well as the Replication Gateway. And these are the three components that are required for Resiliency Platform. So once this process is kick-started, we then have to go and enter some basic information. First thing we do here is the basic settings, and this would be the bootstrap inputs for our appliances. So this would be things like the admin passwords as well as NTP server settings. Also, we'll specify the resource group within Azure as well as the location or Azure region where we want to deploy our appliances. So from there, we enter a couple more advanced settings, and this would be host names for our appliances. And it would also include the instance sizes. And this would be the instance sizes for our resiliency platform appliances. Now for the most part, the standard or the default option will be good enough, but you do have the ability to customize that as required. From there, we simply enter our network settings, and this would be the subnets within our Azure Virtual Network where we're going to deploy our resiliency platform appliances. Once that's done, we can simply click the Buy button and this will finalize the deployment process. So our appliances that were initially images within the Azure Marketplace are then deployed here into our Azure Virtual Network. So once we've gone through this process, the Resiliency Platform appliances have been deployed within the Virtual Network, and we can then pair our appliances with the appliances in the on-premise data center that we managed as part of the resiliency domain. And we'll also configure systems within our Azure environment that will be managed by resiliency platform and protected with equivalent systems on our on-premise data center. Now this can all be done within the resiliency platform console in a way that's very easy and user-friendly making it easy to configure a hybrid cloud DR solution with one single platform. Now also to note that this simple process is also available within the AWS marketplace. So whichever public cloud platform you choose, Resiliency Platform makes getting there easy.